Hello and welcome to this lecture and in this lecture what we will do is that we will try to build a BMI calculator application in Android. So what a BMI calculator uh, actually is is that it's actually a what you could say calculator which is going to calculate the body mass index and body mass index is nothing but it has the formula weight divided by height squared that means if your weight is a certain quantity and if you hide a certain quantity what you could simply do is that you could use the BMI formula to basically calculate your BMI and depending upon your BMI it actually has certain BMI ranges wherein either you are fit or you are fat so without wasting any time let's go into the lecture so the formula to calculate BMI is you basically take the weight of the person that is if the weight of a person is uh, let's say 75 kgs and the height of a person is let's say 1.5 meters so BMI is equal to weight divided by height squared so that's the basic formula to calculate BMI so what we will do here in this case is that in the first part of the project we will build the user interface for our BMI application that is we will basically have the fields which are going to accept the weight of the user and the height of the user and we are also going to have a button and one text view to basically display out the result. So this is how we are going to build our uh, layout and in the next part of this particular project what we will do is that we will code the core logic behind calculating the BMI. So without wasting any time let's get started. So what you could do here in this case is that you could clean up uh, the entire code and the layout so what you could do is that either you could delete these elements one by one by selecting them like this or what you could do is that you could go to the XML code and altogether delete the content of the elements okay so once we have cleaned up our layout what we could do is that we could start adding the new elements to this particular layout so let's first go ahead and put up the title of this application which is PMI calculator so for that purpose I'm going to drag a text view and drop it right over here and you could go to the code and you could change the text to let's say BMI calculator okay so once we are done with this the next thing which you could do is that you could also change the size of this particular text view so what you could do is that you could type in Android text size and you could set the size to let's say 40 DP and DP actually stands for density pixels and I guess 40 is too much so let's say we set the size to 30 dp so, okay so once this thing is done we could go ahead and add the rest of the elements so in order to accept uh, the height and weight of a person you do need to have edit text over here so what we will do is that if you go to the edit text over here as you could see this thing is the edit text for a number so I'm basically going to go ahead select this edit text and place it right over here and we do need to have one more edit text right below it to basically accept the weight of the user so I'm again going to go ahead drag another one and drop it right below it over here okay so once we have these things we are pretty much good to go now the next thing which we need to do is that we actually need to give a hint over here so that the user actually understands that he has to enter the height over here and he has to enter the weight over here so we go into the first edit text right over here and you could type in android hint equals and let's say this says enter height and let's say the next edit text is for weight so you type in hint and let's say this says enter weight so once this thing is done we are pretty much good to go now the only thing which you need to do is that you also need to assign IDs to these two edit text so that we could basically go ahead and extract values from it so for the first edit text let's set the value to let's say user height and make sure that the H is in capitals and for the weight let's say that is going to be user weight okay so as you could see as soon as we changed uh, the IDs uh, the layout sort of messed up so there is a logical reason behind this because we are using a relative layout and in a relative layout uh, the elements are placed relative to each other so actually uh, the 
properties of the relative layout are actually set up in a way that they get placed with each other according to their IDs. So as you could see, now we have the different kinds of IDs over here. So what you could do is that you could simply delete this code, which basically is causing the problem. And then you could go ahead and again manually adjust the layout and it's going to work fine. And actually we are going to learn about the different kinds of layouts in the upcoming lectures. So don't worry about that. We will cover that in a detailed manner. Okay, so once this thing is done, the final thing which you need to add is that you need to add a button. So what we will do here is that we will search for the button. So let's take a button, drop it over here. And now let's go to the code and let's change the text of the button to let's say calculate BMI. And the next thing which you need to do is that you also need to have a text view over here to display your final BMI result. So for that, we again go to the design view. And this time we are going to get a text view over here. So I'm going to drag a text view and drop it right over here. Go to text, give it an ID to let's say user BMI as this is going to display the user's BMI. And also you could go ahead and increase the size of this particular text view. So you could type in text size and that's going to be let's say 30 dps. And I guess 20 would be sufficient. Okay, so once this thing is done, we are pretty much good to go. Now the layout part that is the designing part of our application is done. And I know that this is a pretty simple and pretty basic layout. We have not added any fancy stuff to it because the main purpose of this tutorial is to make you guys understand how a simple application works in Android. So this was the first part of the project wherein we have designed the BMI's layout, BMI calculators layout. And in the next lecture, what we will do is that we will learn how to code the logic behind it so that this calculator actually becomes functional and is able to calculate the BMI of a person. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you.